Hello, welcome to CADM CNC Gyan Online. This talk is part of a series of lectures on CNC machining from CADM Technologies. You may be a teacher in a technical institution, you may be in industry on the shop floor, you may be an entrepreneur, whatever your role. These lectures are designed to quickly give you basic knowledge of CNC machining, which you can then build upon. This set of eight videos simplify the complex area of CNC technology. These lecture videos extensively use CADM's multimedia CNC education software to bring the shop floor live on your screen. Happy learning. In this lecture, I will be talking about cutting parameters on CNC machining centers, the importance of selecting the right parameters and how you select the right parameters. The main cutting parameters are the cutting speed, feed rate and depth of cut. The cutting speed is the linear speed of the tool relative to the part. It is not the same as the spindle speed. The cutting speed is a linear distance measured in meters per minute while the spindle speed is measured in revolutions per minute. The cutting speed is directly proportional to the RPM and the diameter of the tool. The larger the diameter, the higher the cutting speed at the same RPM. Feed rate is the linear movement of the tool measured in mm per revolution or mm per revolution per tooth. The depth of cut is the depth of material removed in each cut. Material removal rate is the volume of material removed from the workpiece per minute measured in cc or cubic centimeters per minute. When you rub your palms together fast, you'll notice that they get heated up and we actually do this to get warm when we're feeling cold. This is because of friction and the faster you rub your palms, the hotter they get. Basically, the higher the relative linear speed between your palms, the higher the heat generation. The same phenomenon occurs during metal cutting. The temperature rises as the cutting speed rises. The tool material is designed to work at a certain temperature range. Below this range, you are underutilizing the tool and the cycle time will be unnecessarily high. Above this range, the tool wear will be too high and you end up with high tool costs and high machine downtime to keep replacing the tool. High cutting speed and temperature also result in poor surface finish and unwanted metallurgical changes in the workpiece. Tool wear is the erosion of material from the tool. It changes the shape of the tool cutting edge, increases cutting forces, results in poorer accuracy and surface finish on the part. These are some types of tool wear. Flank wear, the picture in the middle, is the most common. As you can see, it makes the cutting edge more blunt, resulting in higher cutting forces and changes in part dimensions. Built up edge is the deposition of workpiece material on the cutting edge of the tool. It is not actually tool wear, but its effects are the same as tool wear. The deposited workpiece material becomes the cutting edge. So the cutting forces become high and dimensional accuracy and surface finish are poor. This video shows built up edge while turning an aluminum part. In the first cut, the surface finish is good because the cutting edge is new. In the second cut, built up edge has formed and you can see the poor surface finish as a result. Tool life is the cutting time for which the tool is usable. Usable means that the tool is giving you parts within tolerance limits with acceptable surface finish and without cutting forces and vibrations becoming too high. 
the end of tool life does not mean that the tool is actually broken for example you might have to change the cutting edge when the flank wear becomes a certain value cutting parameters decide the part quality proper chip breaking tool life and tool cost it is therefore very important that you select the correct cutting parameters that suit the operation the tool material and workpiece material cutting tool manufacturer has cutting parameters tables in tool catalogs to decide cutting parameters for an insert we just refer to the catalog of the manufacturer of the insert this chart for example is from tegutex catalog for milling using the mill rush range of face mills when you select the type and size of the milling cutter the insert shape and size suitable for the cutter also get decided this chart shows the recommended cutting parameters for a particular face milling cutter for each workpiece material it shows the maximum depth of cut the cutting speed range the grade of insert and the feed rate range this chart shows sandwick's recommended parameters for drilling with the coro drill delta c type of drill for each workpiece material it shows the recommended grade of carbide to be used the cutting speed range and the feed rate range for various drill diameter ranges I hope you found this talk useful. If you have any questions about CNC machining, please call me on the CNC Gyan helpline.